This is Scientific American 60 Second Science. I'm Emily Schwing. Washington state is the country's largest producer of cherries and blueberries. The state's wine industry is second only to California's in value. But one non-native nuisance bird is wreaking havoc. The European starling was brought to North America more than a century ago by unwitting naturalists who wanted to introduce all the birds mentioned in Shakespeare's plays. Today, the starlings do hundreds of millions of dollars worth of damage to Washington's crops. But one man has taken it upon himself to get rid of those birds without killing them. We're not terminators. We're our job description would be more like security guards. Vahe Alaverdian, raptor wrangler. It's barely 6 a.m., but he's been out in a field of cherry trees in Yakima Valley since much earlier. He's working with a peregrine falcon. I like this bird. It goes, hop, hop, hop. There you go. And as long as the falcon flies over these fields, fruit-loving birds like robins, finches, and starlings will not. Fourth-generation fruit grower Mark Roy estimates Aloverdian's raptors save him thousands of dollars a day in otherwise lost produce. So, I mean, it pays to, um, to come and to, you know, scare the birds away. Birds of prey work where other traditional methods of bird abatement like scarecrows, pyrotechnics, and netting fail. Aloverdian says even the most modern technology is no match for problem birds like starlings. People said, oh, we're going to put you out of business. We've got drones. We're going to program these drones and fly more blueberries. And then what? You know? Eventually, he says, starlings get used to the drones. Uh, it's just not something that they are genetically programmed to want to avoid. It's good for 48 hours and then you need another tool. Yeah, boy. Modern tools can decrease fruit damage to 30 percent, but Aloverdian says one client at a vineyard in California has seen falconry bring that down to between hop, 5 hop, and hop. 7 percent. It's a tried and true talent tool that protects even the lowest hanging fruit. Thanks for listening. For Scientific American 60 Second Science, I'm Emily Schwing.